Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. So today we're gonna to try to help you guys out with an issue that is pretty common on Macs. And this is when you're getting a message that your hard disk space is full or almost full or something along those lines. So if you're relatively new to Mac or if you've never had to clean out your Mac before, you might be wondering, well, how do I fix this? And that's exactly what we're gonna show you in today's video. Now, before we begin, if you're interested in genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have links in the description box below. So without further ado, let's begin today's video. All right, so we're here on the Mac desktop and I'm gonna show you guys in real time how to clean up a little bit of your hard disk space. I actually need to do that myself. So the very first thing we can do is actually see how much space we have, how much space we're taking up and what is taking up and it's gonna show us a breakdown in separate categories of what is taking up this space. So we'll click on the Apple logo, and then we're gonna select About This Mac. And then just click over to the Storage tab in the middle. And as you can see, I have 40 gigabytes of 500 available, and I need to free up some space. Now, if you only have a, several gigabytes left, this might actually slow down your computer a lot, and you're gonna experience some issues with that. So as you can see, we've got a breakdown. This is my virtual machine, Windows 11. I do a lot from there. And then we've got documents, other users, applications, and a couple of other small things. So the first thing we can do to start sorting through this is we can click this Manage button. This is gonna be a system information directory, and we could scroll through and look for specific files that we wanna go ahead and remove. Okay, so once we're in this directory, we're gonna have different uh, we're gonna have different tabs that we can click on and search through. So the first one is large files. It's just gonna pull the largest files that you have. So you can see I have one here that is almost 70 gigabytes, but this is simply just a library of video editing projects and files. So that's correct and I'm still using that, so I don't wanna remove that. You can also look through our downloads, unsupported apps, containers. And what I like to do personally is just click on file browser. This is gonna break down different folders that are taking up space on your system. And then on the left, I can click between different tabs. And it's gonna show me my different documents, my applications. I can go to my Parallels VM and see that. So this is a great way to go ahead and check for files that you might wanna delete. Uh, so we can look through all of these. The documents are typically gonna be a pretty good place to look. And anything that you don't need, just go ahead and right click and delete. So I'm gonna go back to large files and start looking for things that I don't need. All right, I don't believe I need this. Uh, I don't need this. I'm holding command and just selecting different things that I know I don't need. You can right click to show in Finder if you're not sure what it is. All right, so I've got a handful of files selected here and with them selected, I'm gonna right click on any of them and then press delete. You can see it's gonna prompt you with a message that says this cannot be undone. I've already checked through this, so I'll go ahead and press delete again and it deleted it from the computer just like that. You don't even have to move it to your trash. All right, so another good way to search through some different files is just to use the standard Finder itself. First step for that is to go up to the Finder tab in the top and press Preferences. Make sure that your computer itself, and it should have your name in front of it, is checked. So once that's checked, it's gonna show up here under Locations. We'll double click into our disk and then Command F to pull up a search. And we're gonna change this to Other and we're gonna search file size. Okay, with that checked, I'll press okay. And then we can scroll through all of our different files. This way, we could always just browse through different folders as well. Now, if we wanna remove something from our finder, we can click and drag to trash or we can right click and move to trash. And then in this case, we're gonna to wanna to empty the trash, so right click and empty trash. All right, and I've got one more quick tip to show you guys that will help you quickly free up disk space, and this is to delete your system caches. With my finder selected, I'm gonna click go. I'm gonna hold the option or alt key. And we're gonna click on library. And then down a little ways under the C, this is in alphabetical order, we have caches. And once we're inside of the caches folder, we can click on one of them. We're gonna press command and hold A to select all. Right click and move to trash. And then we can right click on the trash, empty trash. And just like that, we have to clear out our caches. I probably do this on average once a week. It helps to clean this folder on a regular basis. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Also, we encourage you to drop questions or video title topics that you want us to cover in the comment section below. Again, if you're looking to pick up Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll have all the links in the description box below. So thanks for watching 
We'll see you guys in the next one.